hello guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today is going to be a reading vlog i'm going to be attempting to read three mangas today including like whatever else i do in my day it's going to be sort of like a reading vlog so that's your day in my life sort of video with like manga reading eating maybe watch a little anime i'm not sure what i'm going to do but these are the three books that i'm going to attempt to read i'm going to attempt to read komi can't communicate volume one viz media Snow White with the Red Hair, Volume 1 also. And ooh, Black Twitch, Volume 1. I'm so sorry if you could hear the mowers in the background. Lawn mower people choose now to want to mow some lawns. I heard great, nothing but great things about each of these series. Black Torch is only five volumes. And it's about ninjas and animal lovers and demons, so it sounds interesting to me. These two are ongoing series. Comey Can't Communicate and Snow White with the Red Hair. Never read them, so I'm interested to see if I like it. I think I might be able to relate to this due to my own social anxiety and other stuff. So let's just see. Let's get right into the video. I'm going to play my intro and then we'll see where the best of this video takes us. So this is one book down and honestly I really thoroughly enjoyed reading this. I could actually relate to Comey a lot even though it's a bit on the extreme side and it's actually more funny with how the whole class is obsessed with her and everything and they see her as like a god and a princess when in reality she just wants to crawl in a hole and die because she absolutely cannot talk at all. It is such a struggle for her to say even one word, two words, and anything. And she wants to make a hundred friends. That's her goal. She wants to make a hundred friends, but she can't even say hello. So this boy named Tadano came into this high school. And for some reason, he's the only one that realized that she's extremely socially awkward. While everyone else thinks that she's just some cool, calm, collected person who's just mysterious. When in reality, she just cannot talk to save her life. And... Torona gets attacked by the class constantly for always being in her space because he's seen in a, as a nobody. But really, Komi appreciates him the most because she's the reason why she was able to get a cell phone, able to actually talk to two other people, Agari and um, them. I'm not sure if they are a woman or a boy because they like dressing as a boy. I think they're gender fluid, so I'll just go by as them. And Komi was able to get their number and his number, and along with Agari, who's similar to 
Comey, but she's a little more wild. And she gets stomach aches and stuff. Anyway, that's Agari. Right here, where my pinky is at. That's Agari. But yeah, this is pretty good. I gave it a 10 out of 10. I can't wait to get volume 2. It was really good. It was cute. And yeah. That's all I gotta say for this. Now time to see if I can finish Black Torch Volume 1 and um, Snow White with the Red Hair Volume 1. Okay, so for starters, I am currently through um, the third book, which is the last book of the day, Black Torch. But let me talk about this real quick, Snow White with the Red Hair. I surprisingly enjoyed this book. I don't know what I was expecting from it, but it was not um, what I thought it was originally, and I was pleasantly surprised. The main character right here, I always can't pronounce her name correctly, Shirayuki. She was from, she's a... A peasant actually a commoner and she was well known however by the king of her land Terebin I believe it was Prince Raj and he wanted her as her concubine because she has extremely rare red hair the color of apples obviously she was not having it because she was not about to be no one's quote-unquote slut that wasn't said in the book but that's what it implies to be a concubine so she ran away from my hometown and she went into the woods and she bumped into um, Zen, who she didn't know who he was and his two friends. At the time, she didn't know those were just like, they were more than that. Anyway, they bantered a little bit. He didn't trust her. She proved that she's just a, a runaway, a herbalist who wants to study um, to be a herbalist. And she proved it by healing one of his wounds. And so he ended up liking her. They hit it off. He took her back to their land. I'm not going to spoil too much of it. And such and such. Zen is the second prince of the place. And his friends is actually like guards and stuff. And they really like her because they see that like she's changing Zen. And they sort of hit it off. It's sort of like romancy also at the same time with some action. But she gets kidnapped almost like three times because she's a trophy for her bright red hair and however zen comes and saves her and whatnot and everything a lot happened not too much happened but like enough and i love the panels also like the drawings is perfect absolutely adore it and yeah there's also a mini story back here but that's besides the point. Besides this, I gave it, I rate this a 10 out of 10. I can't wait to get volume 2. And um, the other book that I read today, Comey Can't Communicate, actually I'm looking forward to volume 2 of that also. So I shall be back once I'm actually done reading Black Torch. <laughs>
Okay, so I just finished reading Black Torch Volume 1. This concludes my reading vlog for the reading. That was repetitive. Anyway, this book is actually pretty good. Even though there's only five volumes, I really liked it. Jiro, he was raised by his grandpa. He's of ninja blood. And he loves animals. And he has a superpower. He could talk to animals. He's the only human known to be able to talk and understand animals. So he takes advantage of that considering he has no friends. And in the beginning, he comes across a black cat that he did not know was not no regular black cat. He's a Mononuke, the black cat, Ragu. And he's very powerful and ancient and everybody's after him. The Bureau of Espionage is known for killing Mononukes and other Mononukes are after Ragu for his power. And just to use him. And Jiro tried saving him as you can see. Got into a fight with the Mononuk. This is when Jiro didn't even know that they existed. Tried to protect Ragu which he still thought was like a regular little cat. And then he got killed and Ragu to make himself to repent for him. He merged himself with him and now technically they both died and came back again. But now Ragu is a part of Jiro. They're one in one. Sort of like Venom and Eddie Brock. So yeah, he fought that. And they're part of the... Um... Hold on. Okay, I got the page open again. Okay, so... There's that. I don't want to give away too much, but there's a lot of people after him in the Bureau Espionage and Mononoke want Ragu for whatever reason. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what much to say. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, it's good. These are the these are the three books that I read today for my reading vlog. Black Torch Volume 1, Snow White with the Red Hair Volume 1, and Comey Can't Communicate Volume 1. I'm looking forward to getting Volume 2 of all three. I thoroughly enjoyed this series and i think i had a really good reading vlog today it was sort of sporadic and i hope you guys enjoyed the little snippets of me eating tacos of me going to the beach and reading and yeah i don't know what else to say um if you guys like these kind of videos let me know down below in the comments don't give this video a like feel free to comment other stuff um, subscribe and turn on bell notifications to get notified every time a new video pops out. And yeah, this concludes today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!